Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel I want to introduce you to a Kickstarter campaign that's more in the spirit of what Kickstarter campaigns used to be. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Hi, welcome back! Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I want to introduce you to 3D Printing Professor's latest Kickstarter campaign, Print-A-Block Skyforce. If you're not familiar with Print-A-Block, they're a make-anything-you-want building block system. They're somewhat similar to another brand of building blocks that you can't mention without getting a cease and desist order slapped on you, but unlike those, which don't work well when you try to print them, these are 100% designed for FDM 3D printing. 3D printing professor put a lot of thought into how these should work. So the two basic units for print -a block are the cube and the connector. The cube has a square hole on each face and you can snap a connector into that hole. Then you can snap that onto any other print-a-block part. And there are more than just cubes. There are a bunch of different sizes and shapes of print-a-block blocks. Oh, also, not only are they 3D printable, they're actually a 3D building block because you can build upways, downways, leftways, rightways, backways, and fourways. Wait, that's six ways, not four. <laughs> anyway, a lot of the blocks are customized for particular uses, like the ones in the print-a-block Skyforce set that's on Kickstarter. Past Print-A-Block Kickstarter campaigns focused on parts for making robots and mechs, beasts, and other things. And the Print-A-Block Skyforce set has pieces like engines, wings, and other air and spacecraft creations. In this campaign, you get the files needed to print the parts, and there are parts for making the carrier, the flying saucer, the air wing, the rocket, and the star wing. The only one I didn't print was the rocket, but I'll show you the ones that I did make. I printed the air wing first, and it's pretty cool. I printed it in gray PLA at 0.2 millimeter layer height. I don't remember which printer I did this one on. Then I printed the carrier also in gray PLA and also at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. This one was printed on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Well, then I printed the UFO, and this one I printed in a silk blue PLA, still at 0.2 millimeter layer height, and this was printed on the FL Sun Super Racer. Honestly, I think it would have been better to print the UFO in a glow in the dark filament, but in hindsight is 2020. Now, my favorite is the Star Wing, and this one I printed in some green PLA from Filamentum, and I took my time on this one. And when I said I took my time on this one, I meant it. At a layer height of just 0.12 millimeters, it took 28 hours to print all the parts. I printed this on the Ender 3 S1, and the detail on the parts is incredible. Now, the ones I printed and assembled may have been not quite final releases, so some of the components may be a little bit different. They might be different shapes, or they might have different details on them, but they snap together with a satisfying click, and they're all fun to build. I printed a bunch of extra connectors because they're the parts that are the smallest and probably the pieces that will get lost or wear out first. But the great thing about Print-A-Block is that if a piece wears out or breaks, you can print more. The 3D printable files have the parts arranged for printing on smaller build plates, so even if you have a small FDM 3D printer, you should be able to print these with no problem. 3D Printing Professor has PDF build guides as well, making assembly a breeze. And of course, you can print these files as many times as you like in whatever colors you want. You can build these and take them apart, and you can mix and match the parts to your heart's content and make all kinds of weird and wonderful creations. For a Kickstarter pledge of only 10 bucks, you'll get all the printable files to make the five models in this campaign. For a Kickstarter pledge of 35 bucks, you'll not only get all the printable files to make the models in this campaign, but you'll also get all the files for the prior mechs and the beasts campaigns. Oh, and a word regarding Kickstarter risk. I've mentioned this before, but it's worth repeating. Kickstarter is a crowdfunding site, not a store. 
As with any Kickstarter campaign, don't pledge any more money than you would be willing to set on fire. That said, 3D Printing Professor has always delivered on his Kickstarters, and I back this one with a $35 pledge to get the previous kits too. The campaign is only going on for another day or so, so if you're interested, go check it out at the link in the description. And for the record, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just think printed blocks are a really cool product and a great use for a 3D printer. If you like building things, and especially if you have kids that like to build things, check them out. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BB3D channel.